Hi all, this is David here. Um, I'm preparing for my uh, Camino from Ferrell to Finisterre. Um, I'm leaving on the 7th of May. So I just want to give you a rundown of what I have in my backpack. So um, it won't be a long video. So if you just bear with me a few moments. So first of all, my pack. What I have is a low alpine pack. I have been carrying low alpine um, for the last four or five Caminos now. And what I have is uh, an Airzone Trail 35 liter pack. And uh, it's great. Um, brought this on my last Camino and I loved it. Um, it's got a zip on the front. And a small compartment here as well. Um, it's great, fits everything I need. It's not too big, not too small. And uh, it's great, love it. Um, for the rain, got a rain jacket. Just bought this recently. Uh, it's not too heavy. Not too light, uh, waterproof. Kelly Hansen brand, but brand doesn't doesn't uh, uh, isn't an issue, so uh, shouldn't be. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to rain, so um, that will fit nicely in the um, in the bottom of the uh, pack. So go with the rain jacket. I've got rain bottoms now. Most people like to bring along a poncho. Um, I've got uh, the rain bottoms um, I just slip them on when it starts to rain take them off when it stops so these go at the bottom of the, of the um, bag um, if you just take them out when it starts to rain um, sandals I've got uh, a pair of Crocs uh, these are great uh, very light you can wear them in the shower as well um, very very cheap as well um, so they're recommended to me as well, so um, they're very, very handy. I wear them around the Alberg as soon as you stop walking, um, take them off, I take your shoes off, so they're, they're very, very handy. Um, my pair of shoes I'm wearing at the moment, they're Solomon X uh, Ultra uh, Light. Uh, I've been wearing Solomon now for the last three or four Caminos, they're great. Uh, Solomon shoes rather than Solomon boots uh, haven't been caused many problems at all, so um, they're they're really really handy. So um, I, I, if, you, if they haven't been causing me any problems, I'm, I'm always going to stick with them. So um, yeah, great, not a problem at all. So I love them. Um, sleeping bag. I tend to stick with a sleeping sleeping liner rather than a sleeping bag. Uh, but again, this is down to personal choice. Um, it's a mummy uh, sleeping liner. Um, so um, in this Camino, what we're tended, what we're doing is we're um, uh, we are going half and half. So we're going um, staying in um, pensiones uh, and uh, we're staying in albergues half and half. So uh, so for albergues we're staying, uh, we're, we'll be using these guys, uh, this uh, liners. And it, we obviously for the for the pensiones will be uh, using their own beds. So um, this is these these are this will be using this will be very handy. Um, again, buff very handy. Uh, when it's when it's hot, um, you know, as you just dip it in water, uh, rub your brow. Um, I use this every year. Um, it's a towel. It's a quick dry towel. These are very, very handy. You can get it in any outdoor shop. I got, I got this one on um, in Great Outdoors. You just basically, it's enough to fit it around you. So, basically when you're finished with it, just put, I just hang it out. And it's drying within an hour or so. and ready for you for the next day. Um, what I have here is two sets of underwear. And also two set two pairs of socks. These are smart wool socks, and um, these are these have been perfect for me for the last Camino, for my last Camino uh, in September, no issue at all. So um, I, if if they haven't been causing me any problems, stick with the same brand. So smart wool, way to go. And um, again. This one here 
wore this in the last camino as well it's a quick dry lightweight um uh, t-shirt uh, heli handsome but brand doesn't is, isn't an issue at all and also a uh, shirt as well okay and of course your trousers and with added bones as well you can obviously just take these off when it's a particularly hot day hot day you can just unzip these I have here um, the toiletries, uh, so it's a um, hand sanitizer. This is all purpose soap, so this will, wa will wash your hair, wash your clothes, wash uh, your body, wash everything. Um, and uh, also got um, pretty much everything you need there. Um, so um, yeah, everything you need for the day. So a quick blister kit as well, so make sure you're, that you have everything that you need for uh, for those blisters that might arise. Luckily enough, I haven't had a blister in three years. That's down to having the correct footwear and the correct socks. Now, it's important to have um, the correct um, uh, electrical equipment if you want to charge your phone. Um, I left my charger or my phone charger in my room next door so that's not in this video unfortunately but um, if you are going to Spain make sure you have the correct adapter but in this case I in my last Camino I bought the Spanish charger so I'm going to bring this back with me to Spain so that's good if you do plan on staying in albergues earplugs earplugs are very handy so, bring them up with that. And also, if you are planning to get up early in the morning, um, a light or a lamp is particularly useful. And as well as that, if you do wish to get some lunch and stop while you're walking, this is particularly useful, a spork. So you can have a yogurt or you can have some lunch. So, and also with that, I bought a little folder that contains your little, contains, or you can keep your uh, uh, important documentation. And while you're walking, you can put all your important documentation in a special compartment in the back of your bag. Okay, so that's it. So that wraps up everything. Um, I have a um, packing list on my website on clearskyscamino.com. So you can check that out if you want to download that. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching.